weekend, the planetarium is packed with locals and tourists. People of all ages flock together here to take in the wonders and amazing sights of the stars and also everything the planetarium has to offer. The sun goes up and the sun comes down. Speaking about the sun coming down, it is a beautiful, crisp evening here in Tehran. And behind me is a magnificent structure. It is the largest planetarium in the Middle East. Let's check it out. Let's have some fun. Showtime. Now, you know, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that the Milky Way is epic in shape, size, and form. Those were pictures we saw of the Milky Way, per se, taken from telescopes. You know, life is filled with surprises, whether they're good or bad. I believe mostly all surprises are good. Speaking about good surprises, I got a great surprise for you guys. Now, the surprise I was talking about were these objects. What are they? They're model replicas of satellites built in Iran by Iranian scientists that were sent into orbit. Joseph John Thomas, Ernest Rutherford, Niles Bohr. When you speak about these people, you're talking about the forefathers that paved the way for chemistry, biology, science. These are the people that paved the way for us today. And there's a nice monument built to showcase them. قرار هستش اینجا مرکز علمی باشه که وقتی که مراجعین ما میان اینجا بتونن با بار علمی از اینجا خارج بشن و بچه هایی که وارد میشن ما آموزش بهشون میدیم نسبت به علم نجوم با اطلاعات خوب و کافی بتونن از اینجا استفاده کنن و خارج بشن have you ever thought about how amazing the world is as a whole? Start anywhere here. People's Republic of China. And then spin it and stop here. Where do we come here? We came back to the People's Republic of China. Whatever. Think about the world, okay? You look at this and you say, this country, this country, this country. But think about the world as a whole. Think about outer space. When we speak about Iran, we should speak about a country that is very unique in many shapes, ways, and form. For instance, there are certain stars you can only gaze at from Iran. To give us more on this perspective, let's talk to an expert astronomer himself, Mr. Karimi. This big daddy is called the Sky Watcher. It's self-explanatory why it's called the Sky Watcher, but we're going to show you anyway. مناطق مختلفی از کشور ایران فضاهای وجود داره برای رصد کردن ما به لطف کبیرها و بیابانهای وسیعی که در ایران داریم مناطق فوق العاده تاریکی داریم که همه اینها به عنوان رصدگاه های خاص و ایدئالی محسوب میشن ما در نزدیکی تهران در فاصله 5 ساعته از تهران یک رصدگاه فوق العاده داریم نزدیک به بیابان مرنجا به کاشان که بیشتر منجمان آماتور برای رصد اجرام آسمانی اونجا میرن و از زیبایی های اجرام آسمانی لد.